What's going on my fellow Fuzzbuds? Zombie the Circle here in the back of another video just to educate my people. Okay, so this is a nifty little story that happened to me a couple of years ago on a very popular site, Tumblr. I know a lot of you guys use Tumblr. Tumblr is, you know, as I just said, a very popular site and it's where a lot of like Google searches and stuff like that. It's where a lot of that comes from, you know, like all the image boards and stuff like that. But that's a particular reason why I particularly stopped using Tumblr. And it's because of the entire, you know, gender identity thing. Not that I have anything against that. You know, people are what they are. They identify with what they want to identify as. But I was directly attacked by someone of another, um, as you can say, identity group because of my sexual preference. And I'll get on to that a little bit more. Okay, so the way it kind of went is that, you know, I'm just, you know, doing my little thing, you know, sharing my stuff, this, that, and the third. And then I get a DM from this random person, and they just asked me, are you straight? And I responded, yes, because yes, I am straight. And then they proceeded to tell me that it was quite closed-minded and self-centered at the fact that I was straight. And that I should give any and all beings a time of day instead of, you know catering to one specific gender and that you know that's the natural thing to do and I'm just sitting there like um well that's like me telling somebody else that's not straight that it's closed-minded to them for not being straight now let me <laughs> let me clear that up because that does sound a little bit confusing because I have my sexual preference and so do they and just because they branch out to more people than I do does not make me closed minded or anything like that, that is my personal preference. And so they have their preferences, I have mine, it's nothing against us, but they felt the need to lash out at me because of that preference. And I'm just like, why does this even have to happen? And then before I could even, you know, respond, they banded some of their friends together and they were like, you know, just pestering me with all these messages, calling me cisgender scum or whatever, you know, I'm pretty sure some of you guys know what that means, but I'm just like, What's going on? Why am I being attacked? It's not like I even did anything wrong. And of course, in order to, you know, get away from dealing with all that and having them ban even more people against me, because, you know, I'm I'm not afraid of confrontation, but the thing is, if it's unnecessary confrontation, I just kind of cut myself away from it. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. I don't even really like this site like that. Forget it. I'm done. And I deleted my Tumblr and I just, you know, left it alone. I'm like, forget Tumblr. I'll go to other social media sites because I don't even need that type of interaction I guess you could say I just I wasn't really interested in it and I think it was honestly kind of stupid but you know I didn't want to haze them on that and have them do their whole army type thing or whatever they're trying to do I don't understand it I just kind of left the situation alone but I did henceforth resurrect my tumblr because I personally wanted to and if somebody wants to message me then I'll just kind of ignore that or whatever because of course it was my mistake for reading that message but you know, we won't get into that right now, but I did remake my Tumblr, and I'll have a link down in the dibbly below. Probably also show it on the screen or whatever. Now, it'll, it'll be mostly the anime content that I'm into, as well as some art that I'll draw, and, you know, just random posts from Instagram, because I have my Instagram, my, my Twitter. <laughs> I have those linked, too, but I have my Instagram, my Tumblr linked, so whenever I post something to Instagram, I can send it to Tumblr. And a lot of people have already found my Tumblr through that little connection, despite me not saying anything about me even having one, but you guys are clever, and if you want to find something about someone, you will damn well do it. But yeah, links down here in the Dibbly, you can follow me and, you know, see me all weaved out or whatever, I guess you could say, all the anime nonsense and cosplay stuff that I'm into outside of this lovely suit you see here. But yeah, if you want to follow, then go ahead and do that, because... I'm going to try to be more active on there. Try to be more active everywhere because, you know, I got to get that good sense of feedback going and I just got to post more content. That way, I just don't slowly dwindle out of the limelight and people be like, oh, whatever happened to Zabu? He doesn't really post as much as he used to. So, yeah, I want to keep that healthy little thing going. So, yeah, definitely give me a follow. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and close this. So, if you like this video, then go ahead and scratch that like button so that I can know to post more awesome content in the future. You want to talk to me? I have some Twitter. You want to stay updated so let us know when the next Q&A is going to be? I have for affinity. One of our fan artists, Zabba the Circle. Fan art is always welcome. Keep it clean. But as always, my name is Zabba the Circle, and I'm out of here. Poof. La, 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 la.